Hello, I'm Eli Lion, and this is three analog horror games. The first one we got up today is September 1999. The 18th, I guess. This is supposed to be a rather short game. <laughs> yeah, fuck these bottles. Fuck your wine. Quit being an alcoholic, bitch. Alright, I guess we're supposed to go through this door. Hey. Is that door locked? What kind of fucking locking mechanism is that? Hey. What the hell's up with this shit on the wall? Whoa. Okay. What? Where the f Okay, I think we're down the hall again. Hey, hold on. You can't keep me away from that. Maybe, maybe you can keep me away from that. You know what? I think you're pretty, pretty smart. Hey, who's... Who's knocking on shit? I have a goddamn doorbell. That's why it's there. You ring the doorbell. Hear me? You ring that doorbell, bitch. Op open this up. I turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit scared and I fucking shit my pants. So can we escape out the window? Whoa. Okay. Alright, this is kind of like PT. Dude, this flashlight ain't doing shit. Who rubs shit on my door? God damn it. Is that police? Hey. Police officer, help me. Someone's boarding up my house and putting poop in my pants. And I don't know how either got there. Alright. Instead of opening the door for the police officers who could help me, I'm just gonna go back to my room. I really feel like taking a nap. I'm feeling sleepy up in this bitch. Huh? Hey. Hey. Is that laughing or whimpering? Did we? Did we kidnap somebody? Shut up, quit being a bitch. You're fine. It's just a little bit of blood. Yeah. Okay. Who put all this poop on my walls and shit? Jesus, this is a kill room. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I'm pretty sure this mess is a little bigger than just uh, this room. Oh, oh, those are limbs. It's nice music. Love me some classical music. Uh, oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, get up. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck is that? Sounds like a motorcycle, I guess. Maybe a chainsaw. Yeah, I think that's a chainsaw. Just chopping up firewood. Couldn't be. Oh, that was it. The next game we've got here is called Day 178. It has been 178 days since we've been forced to confine ourselves to our homes. I'm beginning to lose track of time. Seemingly trapped in the endless loop of passing days. The state has yet to release an explanation of the situation. It's only public statement the mandate to remain in our homes. Unfortunately, all houses are equipped with a pneumatic transport system that allows the sending and receiving of food and other basic necessities. The problem, as usual, is money. Only those who work remotely are still able to receive a salary. I'm not one of them. The only way I can make a living is selling drugs. So we're a drug dealer. We got crack up in this house. This place rocking crack. Crack cocaine. Pick up the drug inside your room. This is an emergency broadcast. Important instruction will follow. I love this channel. Turn off your television. Turn it off. Turn it off. I don't follow rules. Daily update. Remember, it's strictly prohibited to leave your house. But I gotta sell my druggies. Most importantly, it's forbidden to have any kind of contact with any person. 
Do not respond to anything or anyone outside your home. Oh, this is like an alternate situation. More familiar it sounds. Yeah, this is alternates. We're talking alternates. Do respond to knocks on your windows or doors. But what if they want drugs? All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. So this is clearly an alternate situation. Oh, I can just, I can just open that shit. Pick up the drug inside your room and use the PTT. I see, so we sell them without actually leaving the house. Uh, eh. I don't like it. I guess this is probably the bedroom. And... Is that the... Where's the drugs? Where my Where my drugs at? There my drugs are. Oh, I didn't expect to actually be able to look at it. All right, time to sell drugs. I didn't realize this was a drug sim drug lord simulator. Boom. Sell my drugs. Listen to the message. Oh, that ain't right. You have a new voicemail. We have a problem. The stuff I sent you is stuck in the sorting center, and I have no way of taking it back without leaving my house. It is the last package that I have left for this month. Shit. I'm afraid that we will both be busted seeing as how it is technically possible to determine both sender and receiver even through my layer of anonymization. You have to get it back. You just have to. I sent you a magnetic card to unlock your house door. You will have to be quick because they change the security codes every day. You will find the sorting center on your block being one of the apartment complexes. Today's security code is 1567. Good luck. That is an alternate. There it is. Our key card. But I don't think that was a real person. Let's get the hell out of here. Wake up. Ooh, I'm an alternate. I'm an alternate. I'm an alternate. I'm trying to get in your house. I'm an alternate. Shit, how am I supposed to fucking... Oh, I just... Just rip it all off. Yeah. I feel strange. It's the first time in 178 days that I leave my home and I barely recognize the outside world. I don't know if I am doing the right thing, but it's the only way that I can make a living. He told me to get to the sorting center in one of the apartment complexes on the block to my house. I have to be careful and avoid being seen by anyone. If someone sees me, they probably shouldn't be out here either. And also, how does that guy know the security code? Just gonna... Just gonna keep running. I don't trust shit. Um, hey, this is like a sneaky. I wonder if they even knew this was here. <laughs> Look at me, I'm leaving the boundaries of the world. Oh, I'm going wherever the fuck I want to. I'm going off grid, baby. I'm going off grid. You'll never stop me. Ah. <laughs> I ventured a little too far. Alright, back to the story. Is this it? One, five, six, seven. Enter. Oh, I'm breaking in. I do not feel safe, but it's too late to turn back now. I have to get my stuff and get back home. Should be easy. Except for the fact that I don't feel safe. Oh shit, this is... It's getting dark. What? What is up with this shit? There's a lock. Why do I even need to worry about that? Nah, I don't like... Oh! What was that? The fuck was that? Did y'all see that? Wait, what is this here? Since I keep forgetting the code to the padlock of the electric box, I put it on the test channel of the radio. I keep repeating the same test messages. This allows me not to forget. What about the back? Ah, uh, nothing. So we gotta listen to this shit. Damn it. This is a test channel. Ah, here it is. Three. Five. Two. So it's three, five, two. Three. Five. Two. Nice. Get those lights on. I'll turn around slowly. Nice and slowly. Okay. Well, now that we got the lights on, how could it possibly be any scarier? 
So where, where are we going? I'm pretty... Oh, man. Why is this the, like, pneumatic tube shit? Doesn't make any sense. This game is pretty damn creepy. PPT. Now he's got to go home. To be honest, I don't think we would have gotten caught. In fact, this place doesn't look like it's uh, even in use right now. I think this is just a big old trap. I think our guy's been tricked. Uh, I didn't close the door. I left it open. Shit. Fucking fuck. Alright. Oh! What the fuck? You feel lost, don't you? You are one of the few lucky who are unlucky, as is in the process of learning the truth. What? You might think that something will change, but it won't. It will be impossible for you to return to your previous life. This world is now ours. Now you know what the future has in store for you. Nothing. Get back to your miserable life. Good luck. What do you mean? Why'd you put me in a fucking maze, man? Dead bodies and shit. What the hell? Yep. I just wanted to sell drugs and live a live a live. Sell drugs and live. That's the dream. Shut up. How are my ankles not broken? You might think that something will change, but it won't. Why? Now you know what the future has in store for you. There we go. We're just gonna hop down this tube. I do not know what happened. I woke up at home. I feel awful, strange. Weirdly different, but aware. I need help. I must contact the emergency system. I do not feel safe. This shit keeps going? I'm calling him. It's too late now. This is the emergency number. We have detected an unauthorized home exit. We know you have made contact with them. With what? I'm sorry, but we cannot help you anymore. Why? A brief instructional video will now be played on your television. Good luck. Okay. Yep. We found that you have come into contact with an entity that has not yet been determined. However, this could potentially pose a threat to human life. We don't have any more information to bring you at this current moment. What? Please stay tuned on this channel and stay calm. As such, you are advised to say your final goodbyes. You should prepare for a dignified death. What? Do whatever you feel is necessary to prepare within legal or moral reason. Ensure that your death will be a dignified one. Do I will. I want to dance. Allow yourself to die with dignity, honor, and respect. If you wish to die on your terms, suicide is authorized. To do so, use a blade. To commit suicide using a blade, use what? a sharp blade and slice it across your throat. Jesus. It come quickly. I'm safe in the corner. 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 What? The blade? No. That's a coward's death. And I'm a warrior. It's fucking. Lo How do they lock it? About the window, we can bust through that window, no problem. Like they're gonna kill me, but not let the entity kill me. Makes no sense. Get fucking out of here. I don't want to listen to this as I die. God damn. Oh, there's the gas. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Let the entity kill me. This is worse. This is worse. Y'all just made my death ten times worse. Entity, save me. Where's an alternate? Let me fucking out. I don't give a damn. Kick the door down. Why is this the music they chose? Do they really think this is good music? Uh, 
All right, they kind of got good taste. This is good music. Light on, light off, light on, light off. Flicky, flicky, flick. Oh, I feel good now. I joined them. No, 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 no. All right, well, that was it. On to the next game. I will say that one was pretty damn scary. I'd recommend giving it a go. The final analog horror game we've got here is called Abandoned. I don't know too much about it, but there wasn't really much information. Right, there's like static coming from over there. Okay, this is... Oh, what the... I don't know how much effort was put into this game, but... Oh! Am I supposed to run from that? <laughs> No, no, I don't want it to touch me. That's a chair. Real, real scary, Hama. Uh-oh, the sensitivity is really fucking high. What am I supposed to do about this? I guess I just go this way. Uh, oh, did I, did I do it? Find the box, press E to pick it up. Press again to throw. Okay. Why would I want to throw it? What? Am I still in the building? I can hear that fucker near me. It's gonna stay near a wall so that I have a semblance of structure to my life. So I kinda know what I'm doing. Oh, it sounds like it's getting closer. Oh, it's like right in front of me. There it is. A box. What? Alright, I. What is that? Is that the instructions? Alright, well, I got a box. I guess I'm supposed to, like, break. Break that plywood? Also, what's that over there? It's like a tiny little speck I was seeing in the dark. It was nothing. Break! Uh. Break! Yeah, I did it! I'm gonna take my little box with me. <laughs> Not my box! How could you? That was my fucking box. Damn it. I was going to give him a name. He was going to be like the next Tiny Box Tim. I was going to call him Lil... Little Leaper. Nah, maybe... Oh! It's my boy. Uh... Dippy. His name's Dippy. Fuck that chair, Dippy. Get that fucking chair out of here. Yeah, Dippy, fuck up these fucking things. Where did the audio go? Is it me or is just all audio gone? Well, I uh, always go to the light, I guess. I did it! Yeah! I did it! You know, if that's like someone's first or like third game, not bad, you know? Like, it's not the worst game I've ever played. You did a good job. I hope you enjoyed this three analog horror games video. Thanks for watching this far. If you did enjoy it, I have two horror playlists. One is the three scary games and the other is indie horror games. So if you'd like to see more horror game content, then check those out and maybe subscribe so you can tune into the next video. Until then, bye bye. I'm not done talking yet, but you can get the fuck out of here. I'm just giving people who actually want to check that shit out a chance to look at it. In case they have autoplay on, you know? Like, it'd be kind of silly if I said all that, and then they had to leave, and then come back to the video just to fucking check that shit out. But me talking is giving them a chance to actually do that. Alright, you're running out of time. Oh, three, two, one. That's the video. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.